All right, what is going on here? Why is this taking so long? Here we go. Loading up, everybody. All right, we are live, everybody. Welcome to Crypto Empire. My name is Connor, and this is where I show you how to dominate in the crypto markets. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Sunday, wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you guys are having a great day thus far. But it's time to talk crypto because we are now in May of 2021. We expected April to be a huge month. It was pretty significant, but it wasn't quite as juicy as we were hoping for. We did make crazy gains here at Crypto Empire. Matic did very well for us. Pirate Chain as well. Two calls that I gave that I made a lot of money with. I hope you guys did as well. I mean, that's what we're here for, right? We're here for the tech, but we are here to make gains as well and make those profits. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's get down to business. Who do we got today? We got Jin Wu, Jin in the building. What is happening, brother? You are a legend, my man. We got Zanny Ray. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning to me. I'm over here on the east coast of the U.S. Mrs. Theorizo, let's go. Let's get it. And then we got Smooth Scope. Legend Smooth. What's up, brother? In the building. We got Dre Torres as well. What up? What up? All right. Let's get some more people in here. Let's get hyped up because we have a lot to talk about today. First order of business is to go over the Bitcoin price chart. So let's hop into the chart right now. Let's get it. So to start off, let's take a look at the Bitcoin dominance. Let's go to a daily. And we can see that we are making lower lows on the Bitcoin dominance chart. No surprise there, right? Altcoin season is here and we are reaping the fruits of the altcoin season. So again, this 44 percentile mark is the target, is my first target. Of course, we could go lower, being that all the way in 2018, I'll zoom out to a weekly. In 2018, Bitcoin dominance was as low as 35%. When this happened, this is when, you know, the low market cap altcoins multiplied by hundreds of X's in a day, in, in a week. So strap in your seatbelts, get your moon hats on, get your space suits on. I think we are headed down to these levels. Doesn't look like this chart is going to reverse unless we, you know, stabilize and then have some kind of reversal signal on the chart, like a double bottom, inverse head and shoulder, something like that. So we're keeping a very close eye on this Bitcoin dominance chart. Total two, total 2 chart, which is the altcoin dominance chart. I covered this in my video yesterday. Be sure to watch that video if you have not already watched it. But we're printing higher highs. We're stabilizing a little bit at the all-time high for the total 2 at $1.1 trillion pretty much. And like I said yesterday in the video, billions, hundreds of billions of dollars are going to funnel into crypto. So if you've been in crypto for a while now, get prepared because things are really going to start picking off or lifting off very soon. All right. So now let's look at let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart. So Bitcoin is still choppy. It's very choppy, guys. So be careful uh, trading with leverage or trading spot with Bitcoin. Right now isn't really the opportune time to be trading Bitcoin as this choppy sideways price action doesn't really give us the best setups. But with that being said, we are gearing up for a move, I think, pretty soon. So we're looking at a daily. Let's drop down to a four hour. So first thing is we showed a lot of we showed a lot of strength, right? And now we're making higher highs and higher lows, right? We're in an uptrending market. We have the first low down here, higher low, higher low, right? So it's looking pretty good. We are uptrending. And also, I will pull out a moving average. Let me get rid of these circles. I'll pull out the 200 EMA, and we can see that this 200 EMA we are we use it as resistance up here then we broke above the 200 i'll zoom in we broke above the 200 and now this is a key level on the chart there's no doubt about that if we break below this 200 ema in the four hour this is pretty bearish for bitcoin and i would expect price if we take our fibonacci if we do break below this 200 ema first area i'm looking at is the 0.382 at the fifty four thousand one hundred dollar price level and then below that we have the 50 percent retracement which aligns perfectly with this low over here these candle wick lows at fifty two thousand two hundred and thirty four dollars about so if we break below the 200 ema expect some some bearish price action for bitcoin now i need to show you the 55 ema so guys the moving averages it's a pretty foolproof strategy to do your technical analysis i'll be making a full video about how to use moving averages to trade right here on crypto empire so if you are not already subscribed to the channel smash that subscribe button right now so over here we can see we have a bearish cross in the moving average 
This is when the lower moving average, the 55 EMA, drops below. It crosses underneath the 200 EMA. So that you can use this on all time frames, but the higher the time frame generally, the better it, it plays out. So this is bearish, right? We had this bearish cross. However, it's looking like things are picking up. So what I am looking out for, I'm looking out for this 55 EMA, this pink line. Actually, I'm just going to change this color so you guys can see it a little bit better. So now it's a yellow line for the, the golden cross. That's soon to be happening, hopefully, for Bitcoin. So I'm looking out for this golden cross to take place where the 55 EMA crosses above the 200 EMA. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out because this golden cross is extremely bullish and it's not like it's happening every day or every week. It's pretty rare that the golden cross happens. And when this signal flashes in the price charts, it's time to take notice and really get bullish because golden cross is super bullish. So now I'm just zooming back. I'm going back in time. And as we can see, this 55 EMA has been above the 200 for months literally like for six months now i'm just looking for where the cross happened yeah it's over here guys so the golden cross happened right here at ten thousand seven hundred dollars was the last time that the 55 ema crossed above the 200 just recently it did break down below that is very bearish but again it's looking like we are going to recover so all the way back here in october was when that cross happened and from there, if I zoom out to a daily, I'm just going to put a, a vertical line on the chart so I don't lose where this is. Let's zoom it out to a daily. I'm actually just going to go a three day because we are so far extended from this. It's insane. So from that last golden cross, we went up as much as 544%. If this plays out again, guys, this is possible that we hit that $100,000 price level for Bitcoin. In the month of May, maybe June, definitely in the summertime, I do think we'll be hitting $100,000 for Bitcoin. Of course, that's very good for the entire cryptocurrency market cap. So listen, we're, we're, we're getting there, right? It's a slow and steady thing. Doesn't happen overnight, but be looking out for this golden cross on the four hour for Bitcoin. Let's see what's happening in the chat. EMA video, hells yeah. Let's get it. Mick. McCoin, Coin McDog in the house. Let's go. Mike Majel, let's get some hype in the chat. Absolutely. Listen, we got 25 concurrent viewers and only six likes. Let's smash that like button right now, everybody. Get hype, all right? Cryptocurrency, guys, this is the opportunity to really make a lot of money. So, um, yeah, smash that like button if you want to make money in crypto. Let's get it. All right, next up, let's look at the Ethereum price chart. So Ethereum, guys, is leading the market. As I've been saying for weeks now, ETH is the leading indicator and really the entire market is riding on Ethereum's shoulders. So as you can see here, we are making higher highs. This trend line is holding up beautifully and we haven't quite hit that $3,000 price level yet. We are at 2,954 as the all-time high for Ethereum. So this, this uh, trend line needs to hold. Right. We can't if we break beneath this trend line, that will, of course, kind of reset things and we have to be patient and wait for the market to carry on forwards. But if we do end up breaking this trend line where we may go, I'll take my Fibonacci from the high down to the low and we can see that the 50 percent level is right here at the origin of the trend line. Right here is where I'm looking on the chart. I'm just going to get rid of these EMAs because we don't need them right now. So, yeah, this 50 percent is uh is that right at the origin of this really strong uptrending market notice how it's not just extremely you know parabolic pumps it's up down up down slowly trudging its way higher this is very very bullish price action so again this uh this trend line needs to hold if we do break down be looking at you know something something along these lines where we head down either to this 50 percent level or this golden pocket hopefully not even lower but Ethereum is looking super strong. Mainstream adoption is continuing on Ethereum. Matic Network really, really doing big things for ETH and the Ethereum community because it's allowing low fee transactions on, on the Ethereum blockchain. Of course, it is a layer two. We're going to talk about side chains and layer two solutions in this video a bit because it's important to know. I know a lot of, a lot of you guys watching this are newer. So education is really key. You need to know what's going on. So side chains and layer two solutions what they allow a blockchain to do is simply to scale. 
to reach more users, to allow more users to participate. Bitcoin's layer one, um, let's look at Bitcoin. But yeah, Bitcoin's layer one, it's pretty slow and it's pretty kind of like outdated in a way. You can't do a lot on the Bitcoin layer one blockchain. But when you what you can do is use protocols such as REN, use protocols such as, you know, you can bridge your uh, Bitcoin over to the Binance Smart Chain. REN lets you bridge your Bitcoin over to Ethereum. What this allows you to do is it wraps your Bitcoin and it turns it, for REN, it, it'll turn your Bitcoin into an ERC-20 token. And that allows you to do a lot more with your Bitcoin. Because right now you can't really do much. Yeah, you can put it in like a Celsius or Voyager account and be earning 6% interest, which is cool. There's no doubt about that. That's, that's amazing. Like who doesn't like earning interest on your money? Passive income is really the key to wealth, right? The rich don't work for money. They make money when they sleep because they let their investments work for them. And it takes patience and time and, and skill to pick the correct invest investments that will do well for you over time. Luckily, of course, we have the internet. It's the information age. Information is readily available. So there's absolutely no excuse out there. Zero excuses. I don't have time for excuses, seriously, for people wondering, you know, uh, what to do. Guys, the information is out there. I, I do my best. I provide as much information here in this YouTube channel as possible. But just know that times are a changing. It is the information age. Speaking about times are changing, we got to bring this up. All right. We had a billionaire partnered with Warren Buffett for, for forever, Charlie Munger. He is, um, I don't know, he's like second in charge of Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, he pretty much came out yesterday and on a press conference, he just ripped Bitcoin apart. He said, uh, let's look at the quote. Charlie Munger said, of course, I hate the Bitcoin success. I don't welcome a currency that's so useful to kidnappers and extortionists. So forth, nor do I like sh shoveling out a few extra billions and billions and billions of dollars to someone who just invented a new financial product out of thin air. I think I should say modestly that I think the whole damn development is disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization. And I'll leave the criticism to others. Well, Charlie, you criticized a lot in that comment. So we'll leave it up to you right now. And I just want to comment on your comment. Because, brother, I looked up to you, Charlie. I watched your videos on YouTube when I was trying to figure out, you know, how to be an entrepreneur and, like, how to be successful. I, I used to watch and how to be a good investor and stuff like that. I used to look up to you, Charlie. But this comment really made me take that back. Okay? Because it shows that you are not doing your research, sir. You're just talking at it. You're just talking, right? So he's saying it's not good for the, the interests of civilization. And Naraj on Twitter, <laughs> this guy's really, really funny. Go and follow Naraj. He pretty much said, he, he, he said the, a fact, the truth. So according to this, Charlie Munger drinks 700 calories of Coca-Cola every day. One can is $140. So whether he drinks his Coca-Cola or not is irrelevant. He is, he owns a large percentage of Coca-Cola stock. Same with Warren Buffett. So this guy is invested in companies that produce fake gmo food he's invested in companies that just create artificial you know things that are unhealthy for humans to consume and he's talking about how bitcoin is bad for civilization this is so skewed this is so boomer thinking this is such outdated ideology ideology um that it, it just like it just shows like this article title says we're we're still early in the adoption phase people don't realize that Blockchain technology is changing the world for the better, and it is the new financial system. And speaking about inventing a new financial product out of thin air, look, the Federal Reserve was invented out of thin air. A bunch of dudes sat around a table, and they said, all right, let's, let's make a new um, Federal Reserve banking system, monetary policy, where we can do, you know, fractional reserve banking, lend money we don't have, and earn interest uh, from other people's money. So this was invented out of thin air. It benefits the few while leaving the masses to with pretty much peanuts. You know, um, it benefits the people at the top. It's kind of like a pyramid scheme. So this dude saying that Bitcoin isn't good for civilization. I strongly, strongly, strongly disagree, Charlie. Bitcoin is here to stay. Blockchain is here to stay. Get your facts straight, Charlie, my man. All right. What's going on here? Matic on fire. I like cake. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyone holding cake? I got to catch up on these comments. How about Ethereum? We'll take a look at, uh, uh, we looked at Ethereum briefly, uh, Chili. We'll look at it again in a second. Hi, Ronin. How you doing, brother? Let's talk Matic. We'll talk Matic in a second. I got the tab open. Don't you worry. Share it too. Golden Cross. Let's go. Yes. Looking very bullish. What is your price prediction for Matic end of the year? 
I don't really like to give predictions like that, but if I was to pull out my crystal ball, $3.50, Matic, end of year. $3.50, yes, sir. Uh, this is how you know to say when all the anti-coin friends start blowing up your phone. Yes, hit them with the facts, all right? <laughs> like, they don't know, whether, they didn't do their research. They listen to articles like this. Done, yes, sir, Hunter. Anyone holding cake? Yes, I'm holding cake as long, along with a lot of people in here. Uh, this is why you sat on that fancy throne. Hey, we're not sitting on the golden throne yet, but we're working our way up there, Brandon. <laughs> I need more Matic entry points. Dre, we'll get into that in a second, man. We'll get into the, we're going to be looking at all the charts in just one second. Uh, hey, is the guy they wouldn't have invested in the light bulb? He's the guy that, yeah, he wouldn't have, exactly. He, he's like, like blocked off with his thinking. Um, got mad when he saw light in streets at night, Charlie. <laughs> Charles is dead wrong. Follow your earlier PokéSwap video on Sword Network and send some ETH. Seems bridge not working. Do you have some issues? Yeah, I, I'm having the same issues with PokéSwap. I'm just being patient and letting the development team do their thing. It's out of my control, right? There's, there's nothing we can do but wait and let, wait for the development team to get that up to speed. All transactions are on the blockchain, thankfully. So they know that we sent our Ethereum or our DAI in. So I'm not panicking. I'm trusting that we will be fairly compensated and things will work out. So we just have to be patient with PokéSwap right now. Uh, ADA is helping worlds. Yes, ADA is helping worlds. We're going to talk about that as well. Those are just people that are not ready for the future. Yes, exactly. Trust Wallet token blasting off Mr. Rizzo. Yes. How about MTV? All right, we're getting a lot of requests for Matic. So let's just take a look at Matic first. Matic had an absolutely explosive run. Okay, so I put this yellow line at 72 cents. <clears throat> I did mention in the Telegram group that this would serve as an entry, right? Because it just it, it's clear support on the chart. Price didn't exactly reach that, but let's drop this down to a one hour so we can zoom it, uh, zoom in a little bit. <laughs> oh man. Um, so yeah, let me get rid of this line and draw a zone instead. So we have this lower rally base, rally zone, price respected it. So this is looking pretty similar to down here the last time that we just kind of went sideways, right? We had a similar zone. Let's drop it back up to a four hour. So last time with Matic, we had this one zone that formed on the 11th of March. And um, I was constantly saying this is the buy zone, this is the buy zone. We can see what happened from there, right? It's sideways consolidation. The longer the consolidation, the bigger the rally afterwards. Okay, now it's looking like we have another zone and the situation looks pretty similar, right? We use the zone once, we rally up, we make a higher high. Now it looks like we're gonna be going sideways for a while. Now, personally, I'm very bullish on Matic. I'm super, super bullish on Matic. Um, adoption is picking up. We'll be looking at quick swap. Uh, but we can see the total locked value, the total liquidity on QuickSwap is $524 million. This is going up. Look at this chart. It's just like a parabolic curve. So QuickSwap is essentially the decentralized exchange on the Matic network. And it is, uh, I'll be making a full QuickSwap tutorial on this channel this week. It's on the top of my priority list. It's very important that you know how to use QuickSwap. Um, but yeah, this the value is going up, so that's only going to be reflected in the price action. If we were looking for a buy zone, so from the four hour, we do have you know this area at the, the seventy cents down all the way here to really the sixty five cents. I'm just going to increase this buy zone, and I'm going to say when Matic comes down here anywhere from seventy two cents all the way down to sixty five cents. I would call that the buy zone, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing with you an idea that I see in the charts that I could potentially see playing out. All right. So yeah, this is the buy zone for Matic. Uh, if we see a retracement for this move. So yeah, we didn't really reach the 78.6. We retraced down to the golden pocket. Yeah, I like this zone. This is the buy zone. What else is happening? Uh, love Cardano. Just be patient. We're all waiting on PokéSwap. Hey, man, any chance ADA price will drop further? Need a good entry point. All right, let's look at ADA. We're getting a lot of requests for ADA. And then we're going to talk about ADA news for a second. Let me pull up the Binance chart for ADA right here. So this is the Binance USDT ADA chart. And we can see that we reacted off of this supply zone. If you guys watched my video yesterday about ADA, 
Um, I talked about how we've been going sideways for like, you know, two months, over two months, we've been trading sideways from like a dollar 50 the high to down to 91 cents really for the low, maybe even 80 cents for the low. But yeah, this is a sideways price action, right? Um, this is like an accumulation cylinder, a very large accumulation cylinder. We go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right? No breakouts as of right now. We had a fake out over here, broke the all-time high, but it didn't hold, right? A lot of people got faked out there. If you did short this one, congratulations. I'm personally not going short right now. My trading plan is to only go long. Stick to your trading plan. Very important that you have that mapped out so you don't get emotional when you do trade because trading... There's technical analysis, there's risk management, and then there's human emotion. You got to be able to handle your human emotion as a trader, as an investor, because crypto is extremely volatile. And if you sell, if you panic sell on a big drop in price, you just give your position away and, you know, it's just not good. I don't want to see that happen to you. you, you it, it's potentially like you sell, you, you try to time the market at the top, you sell, and then you think you're going to buy back lower, but then the market just keeps going up. That's like the worst feeling ever. Um, don't do that to yourself. Do not do that to yourself. So we can see here that we did break beneath the trend line. So this is a rising wedge pattern, right? We go, we have horizontal resistance, right? We're making narrower price action i was expecting a breakout to the upside still in the cards right we did break beneath this trend line however we are not making a lower low yet i would be concerned if we do break beneath this low here let me make this line yellow to illustrate clear so yeah this this yellow line here at a dollar 25 cents this is a pretty key level for cardano if we look to the left as well we can see at a dollar 25 cents there is a lot going on right all these candles I'll draw this brush so you can see. This is all at $1.25. This former supply zone's at $1.25. So a lot of um, a lot of accumulation, a lot of resistance and support is at this $1.25 price level. So if you want an entry price, are you looking to trade Cardano or are you looking to invest in Cardano and hold it for, for months to, to, to years, right? It's always important to remember the style of the person you're listening to. I tell you all the time, I'm a swing trader. I'm not looking for intraday scalps for the most part. I'm looking to hold positions for days to weeks to months. So when I give out a call, don't expect like instant gratification, right? It takes times, it takes time for these, these chart patterns to play out and for everything to play out. So keep that in mind. You got to be patient with, with like my trading style. I'm not a day trader. Uh, let me just take a sip of water and we'll continue talking about Cardano and some buy zones. Nothing like some cold water, guys. I'll tell you. Super, super uh, refreshing, you know? What's going on in the charts? Thank you for Matic Analysis. No problem. Multivac MTV. We'll look at Multivac High. What about AVAX? And what do you think about the price of it by the end of the year? We'll talk about that. Will you say those are your three main principles for trading? Yes, Smooth Scope. There's no doubt about it. Technical analysis is the easiest skill to learn in trading. You can read books, you can study, you can you can pick it up by putting by studying, right? Like pretend it's a school exam and and you have to study for it. Um, you get good. You you learn how it works relatively easy, right? Your brain starts to pick up on the chart patterns. It's really pattern recognition. So technical analysis is the easiest. Next, we have risk management, which is I would say the most important part of trading. Risk management. If you don't have it. You can make one trade and, and make $100,000, but if you don't have risk management and you risk that profit the next trade, you can give everything back in one trade. So first is technical analysis, then risk management, by far the most important part of trading, right? Trading is a game. You got to think of it like it's the Super Bowl every time you enter into the market and you're not going to lose. You refuse to lose. So you manage your risk properly. So even if you do take a loss in the long term, your winners will always cover your losers, right? That is why we take three to one risk reward trades. So yeah, after that, we have control emotions, the hardest part of trading and investing about being in crypto. You need to be able to control your emotions. This market is so volatile. In 2016 and 2017, we saw nine nine 30 to 40 percent pullbacks all right this is important information that you need to keep always in the back of your mind so when you see that next 30 to 40 percent pullback in crypto you're calm you're cool you're collected and you know to b t f d by the dip 
Uh, yes. Anyway, uh, T-A-R-M and emotions drill that in my head. Drill it. Drill it, Jay. Absolutely. Okay, we're getting requests. Yeah, Cardano. Let's, let's wrap up Cardano. $1.25. Then we have this supply zone at $1.20. Uh, yeah, honestly, I I take I take this buy zone. If we break the dollar twenty five level, we're gonna head lower. First resistance is over here at a dollar twenty in this zone right here, right? This demand zone rally based rally. After that, over down here at a dollar ten, down all the way to a dollar. Guys, these prices are, in my opinion, super cheap for Cardano. They've been sitting at these levels for months. We're gonna have our next leg up in May, I do predict, right? Nothing's a given, but I am predicting it that uh, we're gonna break out of these ranges. So be on the lookout for that. Next up, we got a lot of requests for, let's look at MTV and then AVEX. So MTV is on Qcoin. I don't own any of this, I will disclose. Uh, I did for a very short amount of time, but I switched it around to a different bag. Um, so yeah, this looks pretty similar to a lot of, of charts right now, right? We have this huge, huge parabolic run up. 3,000%, 3,000% um, in, how many days is that? In, in 37 days, right? So this is how crypto works. It goes sideways for a long time, and then it explodes. The price doesn't last long at the top, and then it pulls back down, which is why you need to be taking profits, okay? After your coin pumps 3,000%, I would hope that you take at least some profits, okay? Not your whole, obviously, bag, but at least your initial investment, okay? But speaking about where we are now, so we retraced as much. I will take my fib, and I'll take it from the high down to the low of where we pump from. So we're in the golden pocket, okay? We are right in in a very key level on the price chart. So if I were to, like, this, this is not a bad entry. If we're in the golden pocket, this is where we look to buy. All right, let's not overcomplicate things. After something pumps, we wait for the retrace for the next leg up. Okay, so the golden pocket will serve as a good entry. If we do drop lower than 78.6 and the 88.6, no need to overcomplicate things, right? We're looking at a daily time frame. This takes a while to play out. And just looking at the chart, right, we do have this level. I mean, I'll make note of it. It's a drop base rally zone. We exploded out of there. This was like the beginning of the huge parabolic move up. So definitely a key level over here at the half of a penny. And then um, definitely look at these 78.6 and 88.6s as well. Okay, that is MTV. Let's take a look at AVAX now, our next request. Guys, if you have any requests, make sure to leave them in the chat box. All right. Uh, yeah, AVAX. I did go over this yesterday in my video. However, because the audience is asking for it, I will deliver. So yes, this green line is a pretty key level. Reason being, I'll just explain briefly. Look how we use this green line over here. This is at $35.80. Look how we used it as one support over here, right? And then we broke beneath this green line and then we marched away back up. We bounced once from the green line here, we retraced tried to break the green line right here was a fake out we couldn't hold we couldn't hold it as support it still acted as resistance and then again we broke above the green line it was a fake out now it's being used as resistance so for avax and it's also in a supply zone right now i will note rally base 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 these three basing candles on the daily strong drop with that uh that flash crash wick on april 18th so we need to break above this support and turn it into resistance for avax anything below this support like 30 31 dollars for avax i mean obviously it would be optimal to get your avax under 30 dollars but $31, long-term speaking, is it's a pretty good deal, all right? Anyway, let's drop it down to a four hour, see if we can get some entries. So we have this move, this measured move. We went up 75%, and it is a very beautiful double bottom W chart pattern, right? We made this low, and then we made a lower low before really pushing higher. That's a very clean reversal signal that we love to see in the price charts. If we take our Fibonacci and take it from the high down to the low, I'm going to take it from this low where the move originated from. We can see that I do have this 
zone, this demand zone. It's a rally based rally zone, and it lines up perfectly with the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level at $29.87. Okay, not financial advice, but be looking out for this demand zone. We already bounced off of it once. If we are to drop lower, I will be looking at the 50% retracement at the $28 level, and then the golden pocket down here, the $26 dollars 24 cents to 25 dollars and 75 cents right around 25 bucks would serve as a very good entry imo for avax what's going on in chat hey let's get some hype in the chat everybody good luck in the future uh, bro i love your videos hubert 420 420 blaze it thank you hubert appreciate your support brother keeping it real here at empire mastermind group of crypto yes i mean that's what we aim to be like we're all in this together. There's no sense for tribalism in crypto. You know, we got these people that like, if, if you say you don't like one coin, they, their community starts to attack you, which I understand. Like you, you hold the coin and you're an investment in it. You, you have an emotional attachment to it. Um, I'm getting a warning on my stream software. What is this saying? I'm just going to exit out. Hopefully everything's cool. Uh, but yeah, there's no need for tribalism in crypto, guys. Like we're all in this together. Um, we're all here for the tech and the gains. So let's, let's just be happy and, um, you know, take what we can get. Because th these opportunities only come about, like, this is like a once every, I mean, since 2013, it's like a once every four year opportunity, the bull market. But before that, like, it was pretty rare to have an opportunity where you can put your money in an asset. You don't even need that much to start and it multiplies by 100x. All right. So no need for tribalism. We're all, we're all like in crypto. So everybody just... Just uh, be cool, all right? Be cool. <laughs> uh, are we buying TLM? How old are you? Brother, I'm 24 years old. Uh, yeah. Um, Ren, please. Let's look at Ren. Let's see what's hopping, happening in Ren. So I did again. You guys are requesting coins that I, I made a full video about yesterday. But hey, if we're getting requests, uh, let's, let's look at it. So this chart is like super sloppy right now. Let me clean it up a little bit. Okay, so just briefly, I'm just going to summarize this. Go ahead and watch the video I made yesterday for Ren if you want a more detailed analysis. But on the daily, we have an inverse head and shoulders chart pattern, right? So we make one shoulder, we pull back, we make the head, we pull back, make the next shoulder, and we break above the neckline, right? I know it's not the greatest drawing, but, you know, the head and shoulders look something like this, right? <laughs> Pretends a man with head and shoulders. Um... So yeah, guys, we have this inverse head and shoulders. We broke above this neckline, which is the green line on the chart. And now this, this needs to hold this support and it's looking like it will. And we have this supply zone up here at a dollar, dollar nine cents to a dollar and 23 cents. But again, Ren is one of those coins that it goes sideways forever. Then it breaks out and it's like, wow, I wish I had just been patient and just held on to my Ren because that breakout was insane. Uh, if you want to know what I'm talking about, we can look over here. I have this accumulation range drawn out and it was, it lasted for 126 days. We went sideways for rent and yeah, so you guys have to kind of, it's definitely important to be familiar with this market structure because it's happening across the board and you don't want to be buying at the top of the accumulation range. You want to be buying at the bottom of the accumulation range and for that to happen, you need to be patient. Okay. So yeah. I mean, I was scooping up Ren every time it dropped below 30 cents. I was going on Coinbase and buying Ren back here in October, September, November. Um, yeah, so I am a Ren bag holder. I, uh, <laughs> it's annoying how slow it moves, but hey, we got to be patient for these things to play out. So yeah, we've been now going sideways for 68 days. Um, again, we want to be buying at the low end of the accumulation zone. It looks like we're in about the median of it, um, but yeah. If we drop, if we drop back to this zone over here, you know, 80 cents, 86 cents, anything under, anything under 90 cents for Ren is like a green light in my book, not financial advice. Okay. Let's take a look at the comments. Great stuff. Connor, appreciate that. Do you hold ocean protocol? Yes, I do own ocean protocol. Buxy, shout out to you, my man. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Let's go. Let's go empire. RVN, check out Proton XPR. Seems like a great project that everyone is sleeping on. We'll look at that in just a second, but let's talk about Cardano Africa for a second because I just want to mention uh, just briefly and talk a little bit about my story and about education and stuff like that. So pretty much with Cardano and their deal with Africa, um, they have a deal with 5 million students. They're going to receive 
blockchain-based IDs on Cardano, which is going to allow the authorities to track every student's academic performance. Uh, 750,000 teachers will get access to the system. So this is good because Africa doesn't, like, imagine you're a kid growing up in Africa. You don't have the same opportunities that I would have here in, in the U.S. or anywhere else in the Western world. So, but the fact, it's like micromanaging. And I'm, su I'm super, super against micromanaging and, like, watching a person's every move. Like, that's not cool. All right, I'll talk to you personally. So I never graduated from college. I, I quit school. I dropped out at the middle, actually at the beginning of my junior year, right? I was going to a pretty, pretty prestigious, I mean, not really prestigious. It was pretty good uh, state university here in the U.S. Uh, I was on a scholarship. I was in the honors college. I got good grades. I had like a 3.4 GPA, but I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to go learn on my own because I want to live a life that I'm proud of and not be some kind of, you know, slave to the system. So when I was 20 years old, I was, I was just like, you know, screw everything that I've been taught. It's time to teach myself. And that's really when everything changed for me. And, and that's what I bought my first crypto shortly after that in 2017. And that was right at the point when the bull run started in 2017. And then after that, I went to travel the world for two years. Um, I lived in Thailand. I lived in Bali. I lived in Australia. I lived, met a lot of amazing people from all over the world. So that's why I love how international my community is because, you know, I, I've, I've met so many amazing people. I, I know other cultures. And that's really what it's all about is, is connecting with other people, connecting with other cultures, experiencing that, traveling the world. Because at the end of the day, you can't take the crypto with you when you're gone, but you can enjoy those memories. So... Yeah, crypto, that's why I'm so passionate about it. It gives us freedom. Um, but yeah, Cardano, how they're micromanaging these kids with their blockchain. Whatever. I mean, it's not really that cool. <laughs> uh, if I was a kid, I would be like, you know, I don't want my grades to be tracked every second. I was always the type of person that, you know, you didn't need to tell me what to do because I just did it myself. Like, if I wanted to get good grades, I would get good grades. If I didn't care, I didn't care. Uh, obviously, not everybody is like that. But yeah, um, Thought I would share that share that with you guys. Let's see what's happening in chat. Cardano, my biggest bag. Hey, new here, coming from your Telegram. Can you look at the chart of Senso? All right, let's take a look at some charts. We're getting a lot of requests for charts. So first we have TLM. All right, I probably missed some, but the chat's blowing up, guys. Appreciate all you guys chatting in the chat. Okay, this is what we this is what we like to see. TLM. Obviously, just got listed on Binance or the chart. The data just goes back to April 13th. Mm, yeah, let's drop it down to a four hour. So what do I see? This is like, this is why you stay away from pump and dumps. <laughs> uh, over here, this, this candle, this is in a four hour time frame. Where price rose 4,000, 5,000%. So yeah, guys, there's a lot of like pump and dump groups out there, you know, like, oh, make, make a thousand X in a, in a day. Don't fall for the marketing. All right. <laughs> um, a lot of people, a lot of people bought up here. All right. And I don't like to see that. I don't like to see my community um, get wrecked like that. But yeah, we are now back at the bottom and we're pushing higher. So I'm just going to zoom in to see what's going on. Beautiful rounding bottom, right? Rounding, I'm expecting a pullback for a cup and handle and then a move upwards. It's just setting up like that. So the neckline, I would say, is right here. Um, so yeah, expect, like we're already seeing a, a pullback here on TLM. I know nothing about this project. No idea what it is, just looking at the chart. So yeah, expect a pullback here, right? We consolidate and then we march higher if this coin does get some adoption, get some interest, and have more buyers than sellers, of course. But yeah, beautiful rounding bottom with this coin, right? Uh, very, very good to see. Thank you for bringing TLM to my attention. Let's just check out what it is really quick. I'm curious. Alien Worlds. Wow, number 126 in market cap. All right, this thing is, has a market cap of $835 million. It's probably been trading on Uniswap. No, just Binance. Interesting, interesting. Haven't heard of this one. What does it say it is? Uh, Alien World simulated economy where players are using NFTs in a metaverse. So it looks like some kind of gaming. Um, yeah, interesting. It's a gaming NFT coin and it's 126 in, 117 in market cap. 
Okay, all right. So yeah, this chart, guys, be be looking out for this cup and handle breakout at the at the seventy two cents. Uh, that's what I would be looking for for TLM. RVN, RVN, yes. Let's take a look at RVN. RVN Tether. So Coin McDog, the legend, was uh, was making some gains on RVN. He caught this pump up. I'm not sure where his entry was, but we pumped in the last last few days. We pumped like sixty five percent. And um, yeah, this is consolidation. What do I see? I see sideways price action for 71 days. Okay, pretty common scenario across the board right now for a lot of these altcoins. Let's see what RVN is up to with his. Yeah, number 77 in market cap, $1.7 billion in this coin. All right, quite a substantial amount of money. But like I said, there's going to be hundreds of billions of dollars flooding into crypto this month or next month or the month after that continually it's going to be a process brick by brick so 1.7 million could turn into a lot more which is why we are looking at this price chart so again with rvn if we're looking for entries down here i'll make this more understandable you know down here in this like in this range at this bottom is like your buy area um, it's like the lower end of the accumulation zone it's where you want to be looking to scoop up your rvn if we do have a pullback now, because obviously this is going to serve as some some resistance on the chart. Turn this red. Uh, not the cleanest supply zone. Let's drop it down to a four hour so we can get a better picture of what's happening. So uh, if you guys are wondering, like my process, like my step by step process of looking at charts, I always start out on a higher time frame, like a daily, just to get the overall market structure and get the general idea of what's happening, right? So we identified RVN is trading sideways right now. So now what I'm going to do is zoom in and see what's happening at the tops of the range, at the sideways range, and the bottom of the sideways range, so that I can see where to possibly take a long or short. So we do have these candle wicks. Um, up here so yeah i'm gonna draw this zone like so like take it from the top of this wick i don't i'm not gonna put the bodies of these candles in the zone just the wicks like when when price goes up here it gets rejected right we can see it happened once over here twice now three four five times when price enters into this red zone at a dollar 23 or no just 23 cents price bounces and we see a pullback from there so be careful Everybody's very bullish heading into May. We could, like, markets always love to test your patience. I, I know I'm, like, very excited right now and high energy and, like, yeah, May's going to be awesome. But we have to be careful. Because if we just load the ship thinking we're going to break out here at the, this red zone, but it ends up being another pullback down here to the green zone, well, then we got to hold our bags and, and, you know, that's capital sitting in a coin like less capital than we started with if we buy up here sitting in a coin that we have to wait for now. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Like this red zone, be on the lookout for it. At the bottom of the zone, we have a very beautiful double bottom. Very beautiful double bottom W pattern. Um, a lot of these charts are looking the same. Like really, really looking very similar. Uh, so RVN has the beautiful double bottom. A lot going on over here. Uh, we're in resistance. And then, you know, the first area you want to look at is this accumulation zone. And then at about a dollar, call it 15 cents right in the middle, right? 15 cents would serve as a good entry. Put a stop loss underneath the range, underneath the wick lows. And then we have where we started from after the flash crash at, you know, 13 cents down to 10 cents. If we see 10 cents again for this coin, not financial advice, but maybe, maybe go long. TLM was on Binance Launchpad. Yes, yes. Okay, makes sense. So glad you brought that up. I'm mining TLM now. So, I mean, I'm in Reef Finance because that was in the, the uh, Binance Launchpad. And whenever we see these Binance Launchpads, it's really the same scenario over and over and over again. For Reef, we can see same exact thing happened. I did participate in this one. Um, but as a seller, because I was I was like mining the reef before it before the uh, launch pad happened. So with reef, we went what is that thirty five thousand percent at the launch. You know, people buy up here, they get waxed. 
Uh, so the launch pads, guys, you, you want to get in those like early, get in as early as possible. So you are earlier on the rewards curve, you get more of the token that is being released. And then you have the potential to sell for like 35,000% at the launch. And you know, if you want to dump on people, you can do that. I mean, I don't really advise that. I, I'm a strong believer in holding on to projects. If you do get in the pre-sale and you believe in them for the long term, right? Um, take some profits, but yeah, like. Jeez, people get wrecked when they had to hop into pre-sales. Obviously, that's on them for buying the top, but come on. Ugh. But yeah, Reef um, was another launch pad. It's on WAXP, INJ, Awesome Project 2. Thank you, Casual Friday, for mentioning that. Wax Blockchain TLM is the game currency for Alien Worlds. Just play Alien Worlds and get it for free. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too much of a gamer nowadays. Um, you know, I'm running multiple businesses right now, so don't have a lot of free time for that. Uh, yeah, INJ seems like a good buy right now. Just waiting for a good entry. All right, get a coin McDog. How about Doge? So let's look at INJ and then Doge. See what's happening for INJ. Okay, this looks awesome. Super, super strong market. Not even sure what INJ is. But yeah, we're breaking out. Let's take our fib. Not overcomplicate this. So, all right, levels you want to be looking at for INJ. First, the 50%, $17.92. Next, golden, golden pocket, $16.05. And then I will be looking over here at the bottom of the range as well from about $13 down to $10. All right, so INJ, let's not overcomplicate it. Let's just use our FIB and find possible entry points on the chart. So, yeah, we have a rally base or drop base rally zone. This was the golden pocket at $16 and five cents. I'm going to delete this first line and say that this would be your first, uh, your first entry for INJ. Next, we had a request for Dogecoin. People love their meme coins. Can't, can't blame them. I mean, it's fun. People are making a lot of money with Doge. I don't own any Doge. I've actually never owned any Doge, funny enough. Uh, but Doge pumped back up. So in showing signs of strength. However, we're consolidating in this supply zone. Okay, so we need to flip the zone for Dogecoin. Do I think Dogecoin will flip the zone? Yeah, I do, right? Uh, hundreds of billions of dollars, trillions of dollars will be pouring into crypto. We saw Doge get like 30, I don't even know, like... Fifty billion dollars. Let's look at the Doge market cap. I don't. I want to talk actual numbers and facts here. Number six in market cap. <laughs> Forty-nine, fifty million, fifty billion dollars in Dogecoin. So yeah, this saw like uh, forty-five billion dollars right into Dogecoin in a few weeks' time. So do I think it will have more money go into it? Yeah, right. Continue on with the trend. We're in an uptrending market. If we take our Fibonacci from the high down to the low. Our first extension level when we do break this area, 60 cents. After that, 71 cents. Then we have 88 cents for Dogecoin. Dogecoin to a dollar probably will happen. Uh, Mark Cuban, Elon. I don't know if Gary V's in Doge. Gary V actually. Um, Gary V has like his NFT platform launching on May 5th, and he's telling everybody to make sure they have Ethereum in their wallet. I'm not sure if I'm going to invest in that, but uh, we'll be looking out for it. Keep it real here. Remember two weeks ago? Bro, please look at Bake. It's at the top or more potential for it to moon. Let's take a look. My entry is 17.6. Very good. Casual Friday. You don't play, just click like three buttons. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, for sm thank you Smooth, for mentioning that. We'll look at RSR. I got to write this down. Got too many requests here. RSR. What, are we, what else do we have? Uh, XPR we had. Uh, let's see. What do you think about ETC, OGN, BTT? All right, we got we got lots of charting requests, so let's get into it. First, let's look at XPR. South Korean won. We're not trading South Korean won. XPR in the daily. All right, pretty good. Look at these huge, huge wicks, right? We had a ton of buyers. Let's look at it. How long has this been around? This, is a, this has been around for a minute. August, okay. 
So yeah, notice we got legs, right? Like price was trading up here at five. This is key, right? Where these candle bodies close over here. I'll, I'll draw a horizontal line. This is a key level over here at six cents. Okay, this is definitely a price target. This is like five X from here about. And out of curiosity, we're at the bottom of a range right now. I'll draw the in a second. Notice how this yellow line lines perfectly with the Fibonacci extension, the one Fibonacci extension. It's not magic. It's just like a mathematical pattern that plays out over and over and over again, the Fib. So it doesn't surprise me. We have multiple confluences over here at the six cents level. This is a profit target for Proton XPR. Also, we have this, let me stop this extend right. We have this uh, pretty bullish chart pattern, right? It can break out to the upside. We're facing horizontal resistance down and we're using this as support. This is for sure demand zone down here, support, same, same. Um, so yeah, be, we're already starting to break this trend line. You could just zoom it out more like this, but be looking out for the trend line break. We're in the bottom of the accumulation zone. We These are the lows from March from last month. So not a bad entry if we do see a push higher. This six cents level is the price target for XPR. Next, we got RSR. Let's look at RSR. So RSR is another one of those coins where I kind of have, you're not supposed to have emotional attachments to coins. But this is one where like, you know, I got in early, not that early, I got in like a cent and a half. Um, and, you know, I'm waiting for that dollar for uh, close to 100x. So yeah, I'm a little bit emotionally attached to my RSR, hold a very big bag of it. <laughs> so I try not to look at it too much, just have to be patient with it. But let's take a look at what's happening in the chart. <clears throat> Whoops. <coughs> Okay, so let's look at the four hour. So we have this broadening channel. Let's actually look, zoom it out. This channel is just getting wider and wider. <coughs> and I call this a money cone. Reason why I call it a money cone is because the channel is getting wider and the top of this upward sloping. Oh, I think my camera just overheated. Yeah, my camera overheated. Let's change the camera. All right, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see. Can anybody still hear me? Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. All right, cool. All right, RSR. We're in the money cone. So this money cone, as time goes on, is only going to get broader and broader. I have my first Fibonacci extension level at 15 cents. This is going to get smashed. Okay, if we're going to be looking at an entry for RSR, let's drop it down to a four hour. So we just bounced off the first entry. I've had this zone here for a while at eight and a half cents. Um, I'm pretty sure I did mention in the chat to, to use this as an entry point. Um, so yeah. I mean, I'm not trading RSR actively. I'm holding a very large bag, but I'm, I'm watching the price action. And, you know, if, if somebody is asking me where to get in, I want to give them a good entry price. So they're getting a deal on the entry price, of course. So, yeah, this was this zone played out. Next, we have down here at the bottom at six, seven cents, seven cents for RSR is like it's, it's like buying RSR at a cent and a half a few months ago. Seven cents it's cheap. It's very cheap, inexpensive. You want to be buying the dips buy the bargains. So seven and a half cents, eight cents, honestly, anywhere under 10 cents for RSR, you're going to be happy with. If we take our FIB extension, let's take another look. So yeah, this 0.618 is at 15 cents, then 17 cents, and then over here at 20 cents for RSR. This is like the short to midterm. Uh, we'll be looking at these price levels, okay? So yeah, and then like again, like seven and a half cents is, is this uh, pretty key level. Definitely serve as a good entry. And then at the bottom as well, it's six, six, seven cents. Now we have BTT. Let's take a look at what's happening for BTT. Okay. So we're, we had a fake out at the flash crash. We dropped down to a demand zone. Call this a bear trap, right? Where we break beneath key resistance and then it's, price goes right into a demand zone. Beautiful, beautiful V-shaped recovery. Whoops. I don't want to do that. I want to do this beautiful V-shaped recovery and also a bit of a W pattern here, right? 
we made a high retraced and then we we are consolidating we're waiting for that big push upwards okay but for btt get rid of these lines from down here clean this chart up for you uh yeah there we go for btt this downward sloping trend line is pretty key um you know if we do revisit this this trend line Notice how well it's worked in the past is why I'm mentioning it, right? We had one touch, two touch, three, four, broke beneath. So this trend line is being used. So, you know, be looking out for, for bounces on the trend line. And, and these are entries, all right? We're in the bull market. My bias is bullish. So you want to be buying at solid price levels. And we have this zone here from 0 0.006 down to 0 0.0057. And this does... Um, it does have confluence with the trend line. Okay, so yeah, BTT, be looking out for, you know, 0 0.006, 0 0.0061 for an entry, um, 0 0.0069. I mean, we were, we're at, we were at 1.3 cents and we will hit a penny and a half. That is a FIB extension. If we take this down though, from the high to the low, some more data to go off. 1.9 cents, 2.2 cents, and 2.8 cents for BTT. We are talking multiples here on our money. So, just like a lot of other coins, we need May to be the breakout month, break out of these ranges we've been trading in from the highs we created in early April. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully hit these FIB extension levels. Very exciting stuff. Could you do Senso 2, please? What do you think about Ethereum Classic? Thoughts on OGN? Check out BTT. Yes, you have pinned a picture. KCS. KCS. I love KCS. All right, let's look at Senso. We're approaching an hour on the stream, guys. Time is flying by. Senso, USDT and Qcoin. Pump. Pumping. All right, this thing is blasting off. I don't want to see you guys buy into, um, into pumps, but this is retracing nicely. Wait for this. Wait for the zone. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I say. I say wait for the zone down here at a dollar ninety to a dollar sixty-two. All right, more, more higher probability than not that we we go down to the zone for Senso. I know nothing about this project, uh, but let's just looking at the technicals. I would buy the the top of these candle bodies at a dollar seventy-nine cents for an entry price. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's Senso. What do we got next? CHZ, BTC, RQ, BTC, please. All right, all right. Let's look at CHZ. All right, let's look at KCS first. And guys, I I, I just look at the um, the USDT pairs. I do chart the BTC pairs on my own, uh, but for the stream, you know, we got to keep things moving along. We can't take too much time looking at one coin. So yeah, that's why we're just looking at the USDT pairs for the most part. But you know, I, I always do recommend looking at the BTC pairs. KCS though went dropped down to you know beneath ten dollars. Ten dollar KCS is a deal. If we drop again beneath ten dollars, um, that's a buy. But we're back above this this trend line, right? This downward sloping trend line for KCS. We broke above it. We were using it as resistance. Now we're using it as support. Okay. So this trend line needs to hold. So anywhere when we tap this trend line, right, like set price alerts, that's one strategy you can do, like set a price alert at $14.09, okay, you can use that as an entry. And then, of course, we have these clusters of candles down here. This is from $13.50 to $12.80. And then, again, down here beneath $10. I, I try not to overcomplicate things because, again, I'm not, I'm not a scalper. I'm a swing trader. So I'm not looking for the perfect pinpoint entries, but you know we are looking for solid entry prices for sure. Okay, now CHZ BTC, Chili's. Chili's is gonna have a huge month. I'm calling it right now. It's been consolidating. As you guys do know, I called Chili's at three cents. I pretty much yelled at you in one of my videos to buy Chili's. Um, so of course I'm gonna <laughs> claim that that call. I mean. I don't know what else I can do. Uh, but yeah, we've been going sideways for 51 days for Chili's, okay? Huge accumulation range. And I do believe it's time to break out, okay? Chili's has a real-world working product. Everybody loves 
football. I call it soccer. I'm in the U.S. Uh, but let's take our fib extension. And by the way, this zone down here is where you want to be buying your chilies. So from 885 Satoshis down to 766 Satoshis, that's where you want to be looking to multiply your Bitcoin. And then our extension levels, 2,305 sats, 2,694 sats, and 3,322 Satoshis for chilies. We're talking multiples at our Bitcoin here, guys. Amazing opportunity. Don't put too much in, you know, 2% of your whole portfolio max. If you want to take a trade on, on chilies, a swing trade to multiply your BTC to get more of that precious, precious orange coin that there's only 21 million of and about four to five million are estimated to be lost at this point in time. So it is scarce. Charlie Munger, our guy Charlie doesn't know what he's talking about. Bro, look at your face. You don't know what's going on, dude. You're lost. All right. Stop hitting on the future. Them old boys don't know what they're talking about. They had their day in the sun. Times are changing. Uh, but yeah, Chili's guys, uh, this is where you want to be buying. 78.6, 878 Satoshis. Um, RQ BTC. Let's take a look. Let's get some hype in the chat, everybody. All right, we've been going for an hour. Let's finish this one strong. Smash the like button. We got 26 viewers, 26 likes. Can't complain about that. But hey, let's get some hype in the chat to finish this one off. REQ. REQ BTC was requested. Let's take a look. We're looking on a daily. Okay. What I see, I see a flag. I see a very nice flag formation forming. All right. Something like this. And for flags, so how it usually works is we have the huge explosive moves up. That's touch number one. We retrace. That's number two. Three, four, five, six, seven is the breakout. Okay, this looks like it's about to break out. Whoever brought this to my attention, thank you very much. This is your trade of the day right here. Okay, it could be a fake out, right? But the flag pattern... Um, Pull up my desktop one second. Un momento, por favor. My fl our flag pattern looks just like this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven is the breakout. Okay, this chart is exactly this pattern. All right. Um, so yeah, it could break out. It is supply. So you know, don't. Don't over leverage yourself. This is in a supply zone. So we need to confirm the breakout. That is why I always recommend to wait for the breakout and then go long in the retest. But uh, yeah, REQ, looking like it wants to go. Uh, Dogecoin on May 8th. All right, uh, Biz Mahal. Thank you for getting hype about Doge, but uh, you went a little excessive. I, I mean, I love it. I love it. <laughs> All the puppies and rocket ships. Thoughts on ORO, OSM, ORI, please. Yeah, let's take a look, brother. Let's take a look. ORO, OSM, ORI. By the way, Stan, man, love you, brother. Thanks for the support. Hearts, hearts back to you, my man. Uh, ORO. Okay, this looks like it's only on Uniswap. Oof. We are seeing a coin that looks like it just went live. All right. I don't recommend buying into coins like this, guys. I don't. I don't know anything about Open DeFi, but uh, these huge pumps like this. Yeah, I tend to stay away from these. Could it keep going up? Of course it could. Could you get burnt badly if it does keep going up, or if it crashes? Yes, of course you could. So um, I would wait for this to stabilize to find support somewhere, and I would. I would. Um, Maybe consider getting a bag after it does pull back. Because you have to understand, I'm glad you brought this up, Open DeFi. I don't, I don't know what it is, but how Uniswap and like token generation events work is there's vesting periods. So when you enter into a presale, when the token goes live, you usually will only get like a small percentage of your tokens. So over periods of time, like maybe once a month, you'll get another 20% of the tokens you bought in the presale released to you. So when these token unlocks happen, happen there's usually large sell-offs in the market so be careful that is why we we have to, we have to be careful with new uniswap coins because when they have pre-sales there's early investors that get in for pre-sale prices and they have that competitive advantage over you where you're buying after launch and they got in pre-sale and they can sell you the tokens that they bought for for pennies and you're buying them for dollars uh so orn um 
Maybe it keeps going up, but I'm staying away from that. OSM, another uni coin. Okay, looks like we got some better price action here. So pretty much what this is saying is that for 0 .000, 000 yeah, four zeros, one seven six eight Ethereum, you can get your hands on one options market coin. So this has been around since March, and we're at the very lows. And lows are for buying, right? We want to be buying low and selling high. This looks awesome. Of course, it could break beneath the low and keep heading lower. We would not want to see that. But generally speaking, I've seen this a lot for Uniswap coins in particular. When they reach the bottom, they tend to pump up. Okay, so we're at the bottom. All right, I can, of course, draw a trend line here break out this trend line um, yeah look out for this one guys options market let's check it out uh, that is OSM options market does it have a market cap no not available super small protocol for creating trading and redeeming options yep a few of those out there next request is ORI okay let's look at Let's look at the USDT chart on, on Qcoin. Okay. So this one's not getting a lot of love right now. Clearly, prices are down here $26. Let's take a look, see if we can get any data on ORI. Yeah, it's got some data. So the all-time low is $3. Okay, so this chart doesn't have the full spectrum here in Qcoin. All-time high is $100. So we're about you know 75% down from the all-time high, um, which is good because we want to be buying low. But I don't know anything about this project. Um, but yeah, we're in the dumps, right? We're we're low on the chart. So if we take our fib, if we do end up having a reversal, right? I would I would be looking out for a double bottom. It looks like one is kind of forming actually, right? Where we make a low and then we made, we need to make a higher low and then continue to uptrend. All right, that's the signs you want to be looking for for Ori chain. And if we do end up breaking out, we can go to 140 bucks, 167. $213 are your FIB extension levels to be looking to take some profits that will act as resistance in the future when we do break out. Okay, but again, you want to look for a trend reversal signal, right? Clear downtrend. Very, very clear downtrend. Um, yeah, be, be looking out for this W or inverse head and shoulders, some kind of reversal here. All right, thanks, Emperor Dre. My brother, thank you for being here, my friend. Charts on bake. Stan, man, thanks for your help. All right, we're going to look at Bake, LOL, that chart. <laughs> yeah, love Sundays because of your information, education, a highly skilled approach, looking at the markets. Keep them coming, Connor. Thank you very much. I'm glad that we can spend some time on this Sunday together and take a look at the charts and prepare ourselves for this epic month that is about to unfold. Last chart of the day before we wrap this stream up is going to be Bakery Swap Bake. Let's take a look at what's happening on Bake. Woof. See ya. This is like, and you guys ever play baseball and you just hit like a home run, you hit a dinger and it's like, see you out of the park. This is what this chart is telling me. Um, pumping up, pumping up. So Bakery Swap is a DEX on Binance Smart Chain. Uh, let's go to a one hour. Yep, so down here is going to be a pretty key level for Bakery Swap. This is from the from a few hours ago, actually. So this was just on Binance, huh? Interesting. That's probably why we're seeing so, so much price action. Uh, I want to see Bakery Swap. 102 in market cap. 1.1 billion dollars in Bakery Swap. So yeah, this I guess uh, this chart is saying that was just listed on Binance. I don't own any bake. I own a lot of pancake swap, and I'm staking my cake to earn more cake. But I'm not in bakery swap. Um, but yeah, if we're gonna pull back, let's take a look at where we can pull back to. Fifty percent level is right in this demand zone I drew at six dollars and thirty-seven cents. This is your entry for bakery swap. All right, we're gonna wrap things up here for the stream today. Let me just switch this camera back. 
for the ending. Absolutely, you the man, Smooth Scope. Thank you for being here. Let's go, vamos, vamos, brother. Have a great Sunday. Let's get this coin in May Empire. Yes, let's get it. Armel, thank you. No, thank you for being here and for your continued support on the Crypto Empire channel. Listen, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed the stream. Hope you picked something up. Hope you were entertained. Whatever you came for here, I hope you got what you came for. All right, we'll be seeing you. We're going to have more regular content throughout the week. I only posted three videos this past week. As you guys know, I'm also a real estate agent. And end of, end of the month is like crazy times. But we closed on a few properties. Um, so, yeah, that's awesome. These properties were like taking forever to close. Uh, but, hey, we got them done. We always get the job done. That's how we do it at Crypto Empire. More regular content on the way. Channel is growing. Thank you all for the love and support. And we will see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Thank you for being here.